Question number seven, Kelvin Davis. To the Minister of Corrections, does he agree with former Minister of Corrections Judith Collins that, quote, Circo has a strong track record in managing prisons. I'm confident that the company will bring the high standards of professionalism, safety, rehabilitation and security expected by the government to Mount Eden, unquote. The Honourable Pesatar Sam Lottawinger. Mr Speaker, the statement the member quotes is from December 2010, when Circo's contract to manage Mount Eden was announced. Since that time, there have been a number of issues at Mount Eden, which have all been well canvassed in this House. Those matters are subject to a report by the Corrections Chief Inspector, and I await the outcome of that review. Supplementary. Sup order supplementary question, Kelvin Davis. Our organised fight clubs, widespread contraband use, dropping, dodgy reporting and guards teaching prisoners sparring, representative of high standards of professionalism, safety and reha rehabilitation, if so, how? Mr. The Speaker. Honourable Sam Lotter. Mr. Mr Speaker, Sam as I have said in the answer to the primary question, all those issues are subject to a report by the Chief Inspector. Um, that is subject to legal action and I will say no further more about that. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kelvin Davis. Does he think that corrections having to retake control of Mount Eden because of Circo's terrible performance represents a, quote, strong track record, unquote? The Honourable Pesatar, Sam Lotteringer. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, corrections took the step in uh, as an appropriate action to the, uh, to the events that took place up till that point. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kelvin Davis. How many, t uh, how many other times has the government been forced into a major investigation into a private service provider, and how is this evidence of high standards? The Honourable Pestar Sam Lottawinger. Uh, Mr Speaker, look, I, c I can't give an, an answer to that question. No, I don't have the facts, but if you'd like to uh, put that in writing, I'm happy to uh, get the answer for him. Oh, order. Order. Uh, supplementary question, Mahesh Pindra. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does he stand by his answer to my supplementary question on 23rd of July, quote, now that he's caught between his own career and Circo's survival, which will he choose, unquote, where he answered, quote, I believe in my own career, thank you very much, unquote. The Honourable Pesatar, Sam Lottwinger. I, I stand by the answer to my questions at the time that they were made, thank you. <laughs> supplementary question, Kelvin Davis. Uh, if he believed he was, quote, doing an effective job in managing the Department of Corrections, unquote, why does he think the Prime Minister is replacing him with the person who created the Circo problem? The, order. Speaker. the Honourable Pesatar Sam uh, Mr Speaker, I've got no re uh, responsibility for that. The Prime Minister does. Order. So, uh, supplementary question. Right, Honourable Winston, Can the Minister yeah. advise as to whether or not, during the time that he has been the Minister, he has had the full support of the Prime Minister, his Cabinet colleagues and his caucus on this issue? The Honourable Pesatar Sam Lottawinger. Yes. Question, question number eight, 